Hello everybody! Especially warm welcome for all Assassin's Creed fans. As promised, I am talking today about Assassin's Creed, steel books, and steel boxes, and sticker boxes. So, anything that looks like this, or like this. As it turned out, this is quite large topic. That's why there are two videos that I made. This is the first one. So, tighten your seat belts, all fans and collectors. Here we go for Assassin's Creed Steelbook Frenzy Part 1. I am going to talk about all related steelbooks and steelboxes from Assassin's Creed 1 until Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. Anything beyond will be in the part 2. When this game came out, it was kind of defining itself. It was new, it was building on Prince of Persia, but it was already from known publisher Ubisoft. As a result, there were several ideas to cash on that, which resulted into several versions of steel books and steel boxes for the very first game. In Europe, they got either Assassin's Creed steel box distributed in France, in Germany, and limited to 50,000 pieces, which is a lot, or later on Assassin's Creed Director's Cut for PC. This one was limited to UK. And in Canada, they got blue version of this box, limited to 15,000 pieces, together with collector edition, which means some artwork and some other things. I will be talking about collector editions in one of my other videos. The game came out, it was success, as you really like to climb on the top and look around and see the beautiful view from the eagle point. Ubisoft didn't wait and rushed for the second game, Assassin's Creed 2, where we started with Ezio's story. And this is also the point where most of the rare steel books and sticker books came to life. There is a very rare one from Spain that was only given as a pre-order bonus in a store called FNAC and that one is really big headache to find now. So, if you already own one of those, you can tell that you are really lucky. Your North American counterpart, on the other hand, got the biggest steel box that there is. This one contained not only game, but also the whole collector statue. Big like this. So you can imagine just how big this Jumbo Jumbo steel box is. It is from Assassin's Creed 2. Master Assassin Edition. After that, Brotherhood followed, and Brotherhood brought us the rarest of them all, which is Dutch sticker book, only available at certain retailers, and Asian Collector's Edition that contains steel box that looked very, very much like the first one, except of the design on the back side. That was from Brotherhood. Together with Spanish version, those three are the unicorns to collect if you are collecting steel books and steel boxes. They are the hardest to find and most expensive. Around Brotherhood, there came also idea to release more general looking steel boxes and steel books. 
we got Ezio Trilogy Steelbook that was available in Australia and Germany and we also got Assassin's Creed Collection Steelbook that was available in Future Shop in Canada. Moving on to Revelations. And that gave us unique steelbook available only in Micromedia in France. And after that we got Assassin's Creed 3. Everybody knew Assassin's Creed now, everybody loved Ezio. Why not to do some more merchandising? And Assassin's Creed 3 got several different steelbooks. The most common one was from the North American region or from the European pre-order pack. They looked almost identical except European is a little bit more shiny while the North American has the logo direct. On the top of that there is a special steelbook from Future Shop and according to me this looks actually cooler than the standard release one. Additionally, our European counterparts also got yet another Assassin's Creed 3 steelbook. It was meant to be only for UK, but at the end it was also sold in Amazon Germany. Together with Assassin's Creed 3, was also Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. You remember, that's the one that only has the hard copy for PlayStation Vita. Surprise, surprise, it also has a one steelbook, which was only available as a pre-order bonus in Canada. Ubisoft got five games. Okay, five and a half, but five full games. And how to celebrate it? Let's repack it and sell it again. And we got Assassin's Creed Anthology. It is a collector edition. I will talk about it more in my future videos. However, it also contains a special steel book that could hold six discs. The biggest of them all when it comes to amount of holding discs. And this, my dear collectors, close first part of Steelbook Frenzy! If you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to like it and subscribe and comment on which steelbooks and steelboxes do you already own and if ever you know about other hidden unicorn that was not mentioned I would be very glad to talk about it. Trust me friends, it was rather fun to research all that. Some of them are easy to find and some are hiding in the bushes. Next time I will be talking about everything from Black Flag up to Odyssey. Thank you very much and stay sound. Bye!